I give you praise my lord. Now sasa sit down. Kachin. The Bible says Biblia inasema you have been built through the foundation of the apostles kwamba umejengwa katika misingi ya mitume the foundation of the apostles misingi ya mitume the church must be taught first by apostles kanisa lazima lifundishwe kwanza na mitume without apostles making the foundation bila mitume kuweka msingi the church is easy to be shaken kanisa ni laisi kutikiswa because even the 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 building kwa sababu hata jengo we start with the concrete ideas down there unaanza na zege pale chini kwenye msingi before you add anything kabla ujiongeza chochote juu yake you do the concrete unaweka zege why kwa nini to surface the the the, the surface ili kusawazisha ile mazingira ya msingi to make the the place able to carry what it can carry kufanya ile eneo liweze kubeba ule mzigo unaopaswa kubebwa so the church must be concretized by the teachings or the anointing of apostles and prophets hivyo kanisa lazima lijengwe katika misingi ya mitume so that when they grow ili kwamba wanapokuwa to anything katika eneo lolote may not be shaken wasiweze kutikiswa kabisa in this world katika ulimwengu huu only the apostles ni mitume peke yao have been empowered the, with the power to demolish the work of the devil ni mitume peke yao wamewezeshwa nguvu ya kuharibu kazi za ibilisi hallelujah 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 so if you are evangelist kama wewe ni mwinjilisti or you are a pastor awe ni mchungaji you are a singer awe ni mwimbaji you are a prophetess awe ni nabii okay you need the apostolic mentorship Unaita- so that you can move Unahitaji malezi ya kitume ili uweze kutembea na nguvu. Hello. If not, kama sivyo, when the power of darkness comes, pale nguvu za giza zinapokuja to shake you, kukutikisa, you become demolished. Basi unaharibiwa kabisa. But if you have agreed, lakini kama umekubali to be under this anointing uwe chini au upako au nguvu of apostolic ya kitume you are unshakable basi wewe unakuwa mtu usitikiswa that is why the bible says in the book of corinthians first corinthians chapter 12 hiyo ndio maana 28 28 hii ndio maana Biblia inasema kwenye kitabu cha Korintho wa kwanza sura ya 12 mstari wa 28 Can you read for them? Na Mungu ameweka wengine katika kanisa wa kwanza mitume, wa pili manabii, mm. watatu walimu, kisha miujiza. Okay. You can see. Unaweza kuona he said before becoming anything kabla hujafanya chochote make sure the apostles have done something to you hakikisha mitume wamefanya kitu fulani kwako are we together tuko pamoja that is he ran up he said first kwanza first kwanza to do what kufanya nini to demolish the evil doings kwa libu kazi 
za kiovu the power of darkness nguvu za giza the old mambo ya kale to demolish them kuyaribu kabisa first kwanza apostles mitume to do what kufanya nini to demolish the power of darkness kuharibu kazi nguvu za giza in your life katika maisha yako and then na kisha he said apostles anasema uh, mitume prophets manabii why prophets kwa nini manabii because now you are demolished kwa sababu sasa from the works of the devil kazi za giza zimesharibiwa za shetani what next kitu gani kinafuata now you need to know the work of god sasa unahitaji kujua kazi ya mungu the prophet will give you nabii atakupa the message from above ujumbe kutoka juu hello hello to give you what heavens like kukupa kile ambacho mbingu inataka and then teachers na kisha walimu why teachers kwa nini walimu to teach you how to do it kukufundisha namna ya kufanya what kufanya nini the things of god mambo ya mungu how together tuko pamoja so the teacher walimu will tell you watakwambia the work what the apostles have done ile kazi ambayo mitume wamefanya what the prophets have done manabii ambao wamefanya and teacher will tell you why they did this na mwalimu atakwambia kwa nini wamefanya hivyo this is the work of the the, the teacher hii ni kazi ya walimu so before you go to the miracles to what to what to what to what you have to be strengthened first hivyo kabla hujaenda katika miujiza na maajabu lazima kwanza utiwe nguvu kwanza you need to be to be recognized unahitaji kuimarishwa so that you can move ili kwamba uweze kusonga mbele as the bible says na biblia inasema god mungu, through jesus kupitia yesu he said anasema now sasa i'm going to build the church nitakwenda kujenga kanisa through apostles kupitia mitume and the, the power of hell na nguvu za kuzimu will never prevail haitalishinda why kwa nini prevailing means to block maana kuzuia au kulishinda maana kuzuia wasije prevail kuzuia wasije the church kanisa must advance lazima lisonge mbele and the work of the devil na kazi ya shetani is to prevent ni kuzuia but if there is no apostolic mandate to that person lakini kama hakuna ile mamlaka ya kitume kwa mtu huyo his work kazi yake will be prevent preventing kazi yake ni kuzuia shetani asije and the devil na shetani anakuja <laughs> The church must advance. Kanisa lazima lisonge mbele. And the devil let him prevail. Na shetani ache azuie. And will never win. Na kamwe hata kaashinde. The church of these days. Lakini kanisa la nyakati hizi they are prevail. Wanamzuia shetani. We are not called to prevail devil. Hatujaitwa kumzuia shetani. We are called to push the devil. Tumeitwa kumsukuma ibilisi. The call of us is to, pre- to not to prevail but to advance. Wito wetu sio kuzuia bali ni kusonga mbele. The church of today, kanisa la leo, they are doing prevention. Wanazuia. No, hapana. We have never been called for that. Hatujaitwa kufanya hivyo. They will hear. You know, we need to stop the devil. We need to stop the Tumzue devil. Shetani. Tumzue shetani. You cannot show me anywhere. Uwezi kunionyesha maandiko mahali popote. He said don't give devil chance. Anasema usimpe ibilisi nafasi. Wherever he want to go. Popote unapotaka kwenda. Push him out. Msukumize aondoke zake. Let him prevail you. Acha yeye akinge mikono kuzuia. And he will never win. Na kama atakaa kushinde 
because we are walking under the word of God. Sabe, the advancement of the church marching, marching, marching. Kanisa ni songa mbele kwa neno la Mungu. Marching, marching, marching. And the father we are marching. Na sisi fata tunasonga mbele. Fata we are marching. Eh fata tunasonga mbele. Tunasonga mbele. You will never stop Efata. Uwezi kuizuia Efata. We are under the apostolos mandate. Tuko chini ya mamlaka ya kitume. This is apostolos mandate. Hii ni mamlaka ya kitume. Not the uh, the uh, the evangelist mandate. Hii sio mamlaka ya kiinjilisti. <laughs> This is the anointing of the apostle. Huu ni upako wa kitume. Breaking the yoke. Unavunja mila. Breaking the the rocks. Inavunja miamba. Pushing the devil out. Ikimsukumiza ibilisi. Taking the captives. Tukichukua mateka. Taking the world the world. Tunauchukua ulimwengu. To Jesus. Kwa Yesu. Oh hallelujah shout yes. Before we finish this meeting. Kabla tujamalize mkutano huu. Anything which devil was stolen from you. Chochote ibilisi aliiba kwako. And whatsoever devil stopping for you to have it. Na chochote alichozuia kisitokee kwako. This week. Wiki. You are going to take it back. Utakwenda kurudisha.